it where it is and let's talk about something else. I know that there were a lot of moments that didn't get into the show and there are some that were captured that you didn't get to see. I want you to watch this fun moment between Chloe and Michael that didn't make the cut. If you ever see me <laughs> in this coat in public, that means I am subjugating the city of Denver. This is my super villain. Is that a, oh, so that's man. a warning? I'm gonna say no. I actually tried that on in there and it was a bit tight and it looks better on you. Do you budget for what you spend or do you just ride the lightning? This is discretionary. I'm just curious. This is just... Thought we'd talk about it. I mean, this would be really rough. I would probably say like $4,000. Way lower than I was expecting. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> I don't know how it could be possible that my bougie husband in all of his drip could possibly um, spend less money than I do on clothes. That was cute. First of all, we love the Chloe's drop and drip, but also... Uh, I drip on the plate, baby. Drip on the plate. <laughs> there you go. But was that a realistic figure, Michael? Seriously, was that 4000 you're spending more than that. I mean, I'm looking at what you got on right now. It's more than that. It, it can fluctuate. There's <laughs> fluctuation. I don't want to scare her. It lied to me. <laughs> Why is this the season of lies? <laughs> Did you enjoy having a chance to shop together? That was super fun. I love that he appreciates thrifting, and we had a really fun time. I go back. I want to ask you guys, you've already been seen out, and someone has recognized you. Um, what is that like, being out now and people recognizing you? I forget that I'm on a TV show and mm -hmm. I'm just always wondering, why do you know my name? But so many people watch this show, and this is a selfish thing to say, but it just makes me feel good that I'm always um, so kind in public and so loving and just like a really nice person to people because I would hate to like curse someone out and they're like, yeah, I know who you are. You're, I know you. So it's been okay. It doesn't feel like an invasion of my privacy. It just feels weird. Mm -hmm. Orion, how about for you? On the flight to here, the lead attendant, she recognized me. Did you get any extra, like, goodies? I got a whiskey, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. <laughs> there you go. How about anybody, have you, your social media, have people started sneaking into your social media? Because I have noticed something that they find y'all online quick. You're shaking your head, Chloe. Go ahead. <laughs> well, for a very long time, everybody thought I was the runaway bride. That's not my fault, so, just right, right, for the record. <laughs> so they were creeping into social media, but I don't know that I'm at a place where I'm going to want to let everybody in. My social media has been a private piece of my life, and I don't know, I might keep it that way. I've actually had relatively a positive experience so far. Mm -hmm. um, after the Runaway Bride thing aired, I did get not a ton, just a couple messages of like, you know, we hope everything is okay. That's all. It was, you know, humbling that there were a handful of people that took the time to reach out to me just as a show of support. Yeah. I got an article written about me about how I like to have one at stands when very clearly in the show and in real life, <laughs> I said, I don't like to have one night stands. And it's like, it's like a whole article just on that. One night stand guy, huh? <laughs> I had nothing until Brennan said he wasn't attracted to me and then my DMs blew up. Like it just took going all the way down, getting beat all the way down for everyone to tell me how they feel. So that was amazing. <laughs>